Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Reflector 2. Stay tuned. So right off the bat, I have to thank the folks over at Air Squirrel for providing me a copy of this software to review. Uh, these guys are awesome. And stay tuned. Uh, because we will be having a giveaway coming up very soon. Actually, we will announce the giveaway exactly six days from now. So make sure to tune into WWDC in six days to find out the details on this awesome giveaway that we're going to be doing. So, Reflector 2. What is it? Reflector 2 is a... You've seen me use it before and just never realized I was using it. Now, I did a video on Reflector long time ago and it's the application I use whenever I need to mirror my iPhone or iPad screen to my computer so I can record it for these videos. So it's wireless mirroring and streaming receiver and it works great with Google Cast, Air, Google Cast AirPlay and AirParrot 2. Now we've actually done a video on AirParrot 2 if you want to see that video, click the link that has appeared on your screen right now to check out that video. That is an awesome video, and we talk all about AirParrot 2. But I'm not going to talk much about it because I already did that video. This is Reflector. So, Reflector 2 is available for Macs, Windows, and Android, and it streams your movies, TV shows, and more. So, you can see they've got two iOS devices, they're both mirroring their devices up to their Mac. Uh, let's bring in an Android. There's the Android phone. Now it's being mirrored up to the Mac. But this doesn't just have to be a Mac. It can be a Windows PC as well. They're airplane a video up to it from an iPad. And they've also got a Google, uh, Android tablet being mirrored up to a Windows computer as well. And the iPhone does work on that as well. So as you can see, it goes to all those devices. Uh, there's no extras required. It is really simple. And there is an app called Reflector Director. I'm not going to be going into that because I don't have that app to look at. Um, however, I've heard it's fairly good and it's fairly simple to use as well. And then there's also Reflector for Students, which allows the students to see the devices on their device. Again, I don't have that app, so I really can't give you any um, opinions on that. So the app is $14.99. It is worth every penny. Let's go ahead and dive into a demo of it. So I've already got it open and running on this computer and the icon for it is right here in my dock and it's also appeared up in my menu bar along the top of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my iPhone and you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing but I'll try and show on the camera here. I'm going to swipe up and then I'm going to tap AirPlay and all of my AirPlay enabled devices are going to pop up. I'm going to select my Mac Pro, which is the computer I'm currently sitting in front of. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on mirroring. Once I do that, you will see there is my Mac or my iPhone appearing on my Mac Pro. And it's a completely functional iPhone. Uh, you can't control it from the computer, you control it from the iPhone itself but it works really well. And this is exactly what I do when I record my demos from or all my videos. Now, I do not use the built-in recorder inside of Reflector. However, it does work very well when I've used it in the past. It records audio and the video of your device. The reason I don't use it is just because I do have ScreenFlow and I like to be able to edit my videos inside ScreenFlow. So that's the only reason why I don't do it. Um, Back when they originally came out with the original reflector, there wasn't even a record function in it. And if I remember correctly, there was, but it only did the video, it did not do audio, so this was really the only option. Um, let me go ahead and just to prove to you that it works on another device, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it on my iPad as soon as my iPad opens up here. And we're going to turn on mirroring. And in just a second, there is my iPad screen. It's a little small, but let's see if we can't um, fix that.
There we go. So now they're running side by side, and I have two AirPlay connections, and they're both in real time. They're independent, but they both can be connected at the same time. And what's really cool is if I come up to my menu bar, I can turn on and off which device you see. So if I had wanted to, I could have had these devices ready to go in the beginning of the video and just hid them and then brought them up when I was ready to demo them. So it's a really cool application. They really improved this app. Let me just show you a few other things while I'm in here. You can record uh, directly through this application. You don't need to use ScreenFlow, but you can obviously use ScreenFlow because that's what I'm doing here. Um, you can broadcast this directly to a Google Plus Hangout or to YouTube Live. Works really well. I have not had a chance to use it. I'm going to try it out here next week. Uh, hopefully it works. I've heard very good things about it though from the things that I have seen from it. Here's where you can set the audio and the video if you want to add a webcam and microphone to your recordings. And that's pretty much it. It's a really simple application and it's a really cool application in the grand scheme of things in that it really opens up the doors to what we can do with our devices. Um, and if you want to disconnect, you can do it on the device or you can just hit the eject button right in here as well. That is it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.